Hello human beings, we have a huge, enormous amount of manga today for my February haul. Over 200 volumes. That is insane. But before we get into that, I'd like to say definitely go check out my last video it is a giveaway with east coast manga at the date of this airing there is a couple days left on it to enter the giveaway it's a new series it's the first one in that series and it is awesome definitely check it out and let me know if you like this series and you want me to keep doing it and let me know if there's any other manga tubers that you want to see me do some shopping collabs with you just have to let them know and let me know this month was insane. I had so many mangas coming in, backlogs, bought series, new stuff, just it's all over the place. So I'm going to go a little quicker through it so this isn't a ginormous long video. So if there's any series, volume, anything at all you want to know about, you want a little more detail about, you just ask me in the comments and I will respond. And also once again, I have not heard any negative comments about me transitioning and doing the sloth hands with the manga right in front of me so you can get a close-up look i will continue to do that but if you'd like me to hold them up with my beautiful face on the camera and do it up here like this that is fine enough talking let's get into that sweet manga all right here we are the manga hands enough talk let's get into it there's so much manga to get through First off, we got three series here. We got Magus of the Library that I did a review on two videos ago. We have Witch Hat Atelier number one, a great series. And we have Orient, a brand new series, number one by the creator of Maggie. These are for the giveaway. Like I said, the last video is me and East Coast Shopping Club. From the air date of this video, there should be a couple days left. If you're seeing this in the future and you missed out, don't worry. Just stay tuned to the channel. I do plenty of giveaways and I plan on doing this again. I picked these out for the giveaway. Definitely check them out. Now for me and the wife, we got Witch Hat Atelier number seven. This one was very good. And as you can see, we got a weird thing up here. That's right it won an award this manga is so good it's winning awards and it's showing it off to the people great series we have love on the other side this is a collection of short stories this is by the creator of the girl on the other side very weird stories kind of creepy if you know anything about the girl from the other side they use these dark blacks and has a particular art style so awesome a volume one of love at 14 as you can see here i don't know much about this series but i did purchase this for my wife and she read it and liked it a lot so she will be getting more of these we have a series here that i kind of just brushed past just by looking at the cover it just didn't seem like something i would want to read but uh i do like urasawa and i did check this book out and you know you can't go wrong i like his art style he has good art his environments and everything else he draws the shading and everything are awesome and i did read this volume and i enjoyed it kind of left off with a cliffhanger i Definitely want to get the next volume and see what's going on. Blue flag number six. If you know it, you love it. And if you don't love it, you got something wrong with you. I'm just kidding. The series is really good. Please check it out if you have not. If you want to know anything more about this series or any series, like I said, just comment to me down below and I will get you the details you need. Great series. I believe it ends at number eight if I'm not mistaken. So it is coming to a conclusion and will be a nice little series that anybody can collect without breaking the bank. Next up, Blood on the Tracks 3 and 4. I was a little behind with these, so these came late. I did read these already. I am enjoying this series quite a bit. I know a few other people who have read way far ahead and they still like it. So I'm very excited to keep reading this and see where it goes. Now here's a series that I missed the ball on, Banana Fish, Volume 1 and 2. 
I picked these up because I am definitely interested in reading this series. I have seen it for a long time and I just kept going past it, going past it, never picking it up. Always on the wish list, the want list. Well, now they're not as easy to find, and of course I want them, so that's just the way things go sometimes. All right, we got Moriarty, The Patriot, number two. Volume one was good. Volume two was still good. It, uh, I felt like it might have been going a little slow, but it started to pick up, and we meet this character on the front. I won't spoil who he is. I think most people can guess who he is if you know anything about this series, but definitely different and very enjoyable i definitely recommend people who if you want to get out of the norm or you're reading so much of the same thing if you only read shoujos or you only read shonens or seinens or something and you just want to branch out a little bit this is very cool and it feels historical in a way so it's it's, it's very nice we got Snow White with red hair number 11, and that's right folks, I know who these people are now. Me and my wife have watched season one and season two of the anime, great anime, hopefully they keep going on with it. And so I know that's Shiryuki and Obi, and Obi is my favorite character from the anime at least. Uh, he's really cool, and Shiryuki is a great main character. And I know a lot of people like this series, and now I know why. We have Daytime Shooting Star number 10, still going strong. Don't know when this series is going to end, but the wife enjoys this series so much. And speaking of series she loves, Takana and Hana. We got volume 16 here. What are these things? Oh, they're little chickens everywhere. It's like, it's like confetti baby peeps. It's like little chickens falling everywhere. What the heck is going on here? She loves this series and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, also this one is coming to an end. I don't know when, but I think it doesn't have very many volumes left. Here's another series me and the wife were trying out and it's Sumi's Book of Friends. We got volume one, volume two, and volume three. Very monster of the day, very slow beginning. I will be completely honest, I'm not too big of a fan of the start of this. I know this has a ton of volumes out, so it obviously uh, has a fan base and people love it. Uh, if you know if it picks up or it gets better, let me know. Next up, we have a random chunk of manga. I'm sticking these in a pile. We got the Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service Omnibus 3 and Single 3 Sealed. And then we got, we have Gantz 23 and 30 and Trigun Maximum 8, 10, and 12 and a Shaman King 20 and 21. The reason I'm showing you these is I bought these not for me. I bought these to resell or to give away, etc, etc. I don't need these, but I know these are volumes that people are looking for and stuff like that. So that's why I got these. All right, next we have Beastars number 10. Series is still awesome. Nothing bad to say about it. Really good. I picked up volume two i believe yes of 20th century boys perfect edition i plan on getting all these perfect editions they're really nice i do enjoy how they are set up and how they feel the different textures on the front are great love the pictures spines are good I, not much bad to say about these i know a lot of people like the singles i like the singles but not everyone can get those hard to find singles and I just don't feel like hunting for them and I need a little bit more space so I'm just gonna go with the perfect editions because that's just what I do. We have the Ancient Magus Bride Wizards Blue. This is a side story I believe for the Ancient Magus Bride main series. I don't know if it's good or not. I think it was okay and I don't really know what it's about but I can get more info on that if anybody wants. Here's a big chunky one, look at that. That is a big old 900-ish page book. This is huge, but it's so nice though. 
It doesn't seem hard to read. It's not like the Death Note all-in-one edition. It's got good pages. It's already been read. No cracks in the spine. This is Paradise Kiss, the 20th anniversary edition. And this is complete. Wife really enjoyed this. I think she said it was a lot more sad than she remembered because I think she read this some in the in the past though she enjoyed it a lot and it's gonna look good on the shelf it's a nice purple next up we got a couple more chunkies we got I am a hero two three and four I am one of those people who have seen I am a hero on the shelves in stores online everywhere and I said this is cool I should pick that up and I just ignored that it was Dark Horse until it was too late and of course I want to pick it up when they're hard to find so I only have one through four and I need the rest and I don't want to pay a zillion dollars for them that's how it goes next we have three more series that I don't particularly care about at the moment we have Dimension W I know I have volume one it just must be somewhere else right now and I don't know much about it we got Battle Rabbits that's a that's definitely a weird name and I don't know much about this either and we got Immortal Hounds 1 and 2 and I also don't know much about this I bought a used manga lot for something else and these came with it so at the moment I don't know anything about these I don't really have too much interest in reading or keeping these so it's just more manga that I don't need that I have <laughs> we got sacrificial princess and the king of beast number two uh, the wife didn't enjoy number one too much she liked it but not in a super duper way she thought it was kind of reminiscent of other manga just kind of rip off feeling also just so fast just jamming a thousand things into one volume so she's on the one volume at a time train reading this until she decides if she likes it or wants to quit it we do have number three she read number two and she did say it got better Jujutsu Kaisen number zero not too many zeros and uh, I don't own many zeros this might be my only zero that I own right now uh, very cool to have a zero I think that's pretty neat uh, backstory we got here read this I enjoyed it it's kind of hard not to Jujutsu Kaisen is very popular right now it's blowing up and everybody wants it everybody needs it so obviously volume zero was good we got Komi can't communicate number 11 I like these covers how Komi's always doing something cool on the front it always seems it's kind of like a nice nice cover good series chainsaw man number three that's right another series that is blowing up right now and i know depending on when you're watching this one and two are hard to find because of the popularity i know they're out there and just be patient they will come back in stock i have seen ones and twos at my local barnes and noble so i know they're out there for people try not to pay those inflated prices for these those people are just ripping you off but this series is great and number three was very good too yona of the dawn number 28 that's a good looking cover of her there and that's a cute little squirrel on the back we got al huck if if i'm correct i think that's his name and yona sears is still going strong and everyone loves it definitely check this one out got a couple more random used manga here that were a part of a deal don't really know anything about these if either one of these are good or if you've read these or they suck all you gotta do is let me know i would appreciate it we got sukoden psychoden don't know if i'm saying that right number one that's kind of cool it's like a duck duck guy with like armor on or something it's kind of like donald duck in kingdom hearts or something then we got Brave Story number one. Have no clue what this is or about. We got Love Me, Love Me Not number six. I always get confused with these covers when I'm buying them. They, some of these series like this and uh, Daytime Shooting Star and a couple other ones, they're, 
they're different. They're definitely different, but they all kind of like blend together in my mind. Maybe that's just me. Good series. A new series that I got my wife, uh, The Alchemist Who Survived Now Dreams of a Quiet City Life, Volume 1. She did enjoy the series and how it was different. The art looks good. Uh, this has novels, and I know the novels are popular. So I decided to try out the manga, and she liked it, so we're gonna get Volume 2. Next up, and for the final time, folks, the final time, I promise. This is the last of D. Gray Man until the creator lady makes any more. You will just get singles in the future for my hauls. This is the rest, and now I completely own the whole series. Finally, it's been a long time. I like D. Gray Man, and I've just been putting it off, so I conquered the beast. Not particularly hard to find any of these, but I definitely wanted to get them, and now I own them all. And I am immediately annoyed by this Shonen Jump symbols here. Come on, get your act together. So annoying. Make up your mind. Make some symbols that you keep forever. What is the freaking deal? Next up, we got Flying Witch number five, number six number seven let's just take a second here just one second and appreciate these covers they look so good a series i didn't think my wife would enjoy a super lot but she is wanting more of it obviously she loves it very awesome series next we got two series here that i am working on just completing siren i got four six and seven some random issues and tagami bachi i got volume nine ten and eleven just trying to finish these ones and add them to the collection I picked up this series volume one for my wife. She loved it and she wants all of the rest. So we got up to seven here. I do like these covers and these colors in particular. They're like soft colors that look really good. I definitely like these. They're gonna look good on the shelf. Very good series. Wife recommends. And then we have Blade of Heaven one through 10 a series that i've been wanting to have in my collection and i was able to pick up the whole series for 30 bucks and they all have these plastic covers on them and they are all in good shape definitely for their age a series with pretty good art and story i definitely like it Next up, we got oh, Torico 4 through 34. There's definitely gaps. I'm just going to go through these covers real quick, give you an idea what they look like. These are all new. And yes, this will be one of the last times you ever see Torico in my hauls because I own it all except for volume 10 and volume 16. So if I ever find those, you'll see them, but that is it for Torico, only missing two volumes. Next up is Itsuwari B2 number 12 through 16. I'm moving along with this series. It is good, I'm enjoying it, and I'm excited to get into these later volumes and see what's going on. I was forced against my will to buy this series by Jake the Pog. If you ever speak to him about manga, it will be the first thing out of his mouth, so be careful. And then I have the last Nura Rise of the Yokai Clan that you will see in my hauls, because with this, I own the rest. And it is... 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So now I own the whole series, and I'm very happy about that. Another series that is complete. Next up, a big chunk of Shortcake Cake 4 through 11. That's right, the wife enjoys this series so much. She got a couple, 
and she wanted all of the rest that she could get her hands on. I don't know if there's any more out right now. Uh, there might be, or maybe not. But I know a lot more people that enjoy this series, manga tubers and people. So it definitely is good. Manga sloth stamp of approval. I like the different colors on the words on the spines. Looks good. Check it out. Next up is Maggie. Maggie 11 through 19. That is another chunk of good looking spines. They look colorful and I like the little triangles or the diamonds down the edges. Gives it a little pop. I've definitely been enjoying Maggie a lot and I am excited to see where it goes and continue to read it and see what happens. Next up we got this guy right here. Something you may have seen me unbox. I didn't put it in January's haul, it was near the end, but I got the Akira box set. It's a amazing series and the best box set out there. There definitely is some cool box sets, but uh, not like this with all hard covers, beautiful art, extras. I mean, if you don't know about it, please check it out. I don't know how long these box sets are going to get made, but hopefully everybody that wants one can get one. And last but not least, we're going hand cam because this will just be easier. I was able to pick up all of Naruto. So that's one through 72. I was able to pick all this up used. As you can see, there's some fading, but got it all for $120, which is a great deal. And I'll take that any day. And I don't mind the light fading. That's fine. I also picked up Rohan of the Louvre because I am a JoJo fan and this was a good read. The Naruto haul that I bought used actually came with this Naruto illustration book and we got a fan book, a character book. We got these cool books here that I didn't even know existed and they're anime profiles and they break down everything in the series and the anime and stuff. I mean look at this, this is cool, cool stuff. I don't know what all is in here but it definitely looks cool. And then I got a The Art of Naruto. And all this Naruto stuff you see here is going to be given away. I don't have any use for it. I just wanted the series. These anime books that break down things. Illustration book, character book, fan book. And this hardcover art book. Look at that. Wow, that's cool. These are all just going to be given away to the Manga Sloth fans. All right, that wraps up the haul for this month. I'm going to do a video end shot of all of the 200 plus manga this month so everyone can see it all. Thank you all for watching the Manga Sloth. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to use my Right Stuff affiliate link if you're shopping for Naruto or anything. It helps out the channel. It allows me to do more collabs and awesome giveaways for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.